Well, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on on the T6 Jedi Shuttle and Bounty Hunter Gunship from 2011, of course. So on the front, each manual had the LEGO Star Wars logos and the blue Captain Rex border from the time, and also a picture of the sets that there are and the set number. On the back, how to win on the online survey. After the Lego Club, promotional poster of the Ninjago spinners. Well, first ever ones. And then advertisements for some of the other sets from the 2011 uh, Winter Summer Wave. It was, of course, there's in. Also, that a witch, and also that a witch. Expect for next next throwback Thursday. And promotional poster of these two sets that I am covering in this review. And then all the features of it and all the mini things included and some of the pieces that come with the set, which is actually two pages. And then the last building steps. As for T6 shuttle, So onto the knee he's included with Bounty Hunter Gunship. And of course now we have Aura Singh, who of which is exclusive to this set and with the quite nice face printing, despite being the Clone War style, and of course. And also some uh, quite nice torso printing and leg printing. And also what's kind of interesting is this hair ponytail-like piece. Which, some quite nice detailing and also a little braid in the back part of it, of course. And now, and then next to which we have an uh, embo. Uh, which, using a dish piece for a hat to which, kind of interesting use of that piece. And now without that, and this is face printing and torso like printings all done quite good. And of course, wielding the crossbow piece and also the uh, pirate shoulder plums or yeah shoulder pups, like we saw with the like we saw with the pirate tank set from a couple years prior, two thousand nine, of course. And then we next up we have uh, Soggy or Sugi, how whatever, with kind of crazy face printing and also quite good kind of interesting torso print, which is like with the necklace and such, and of course wielding the small knife there. And, and then next have an assassin droid of which same as that one same that came with the battle pack set uh, two years earlier to this. And on the back side, you have a little bit more of Aura Singh's hairpiece. And kind of good back torso printing to her. And also kind of interesting back head printing for Suggy. And also for Embo as well. And of course, nice to have, of course, all the mini figs with this one, all exclusive to that. Or especially Aura Singh. Not sure why she didn't come in any other sets. So, although it would be nice to do so nowadays, but yeah. And then next to which for T6 Jedi Shuttle, 
we would have Anakin and Skywalker and Obi Wan Kenobi, of which same as we've had since 2008, or same Clone Wars appearances since 2008. And then next to which is Sessi Tin, which first time of ever having, which then came in the Sessi Tin's Jedi, uh, Star or Jedi Starfighter the next following year, of course. And of course, wielding the green lightsaber, but however, the face printing and all the and torso printing all looks really good for that. But for the headpiece of it, which is a kind of soft rubber, but however, the sculpting and paint and also printing on it, of which quite cool and really good for that. And then next, and the only one that is exclusive to this set is Shaq T, of which which does also appear in the Force Unleashed game. Not sure why they didn't use her in any other sets or whatever. But having the face printing and torso printing, quite good, just superb. But the face printing, kind of neat for her, for how it is. And also, as for the headdress piece, kind of similar to what we have with uh, with the Sokotano in the in Rebels 2016 and also later version from 2020. But however, the forehead part of it kind of decked out differently just for this, for her. But nice to see here. And on the back side of which, just not only back head face printings or back torso printing for them, neither for Sassy Tin. Oh, wait. Also, that, neither Shaq T. Well, since they are a little earlier figs. But however, as for the T6 shuttle here, that if you notice in episodes of the Clone Wars, there's a few certain characters that are around within scenes involving it, like Clone Wars version Padme, who I who I don't understand why and why not include her in this set. That like instead of Obi Wan, since of course made good sense to do so. so but whatever. So first off for the builds of which have the bounty hunter gunship. This oh, which from first glance, oh hang on. Okay, so from, it from first glance looks almost like a downscale uh, Razor Crest from the Mandalorian, but however, and also a bit like a Republic gunship as well. But however, but however, this color scheme I quite dig of like dark green, yellow, and dark gray, which all work out well. As for the front part of this ship, this, which has a bunch of curved slopes, but downwards, some good snot technique going on there, and also telescopes acting as blasters, of course. And also, do have a couple of car roof pieces acting as side parts and doors, but also one of which that does have a sticker underneath with this interesting thing going on on there. Nice to see there. And of course, can slide right open. Well, forwards, of course. And also, do have a little bit of a downwards jail cell, which I'll show in a bit. And you can kind of get a little glimpse of the cockpit section, which has the car windshield piece above. And also, if you can kind of tell, also a little control panel and a pair of studs on there. for this uh, large slope part which has quite a couple of stickers on it as well and of course it can flip open and once you flip open there's which a little handle that and also a couple of bits that hold extra blasters on too and enough space to fit any mini fig into but a downfall with this one is I keep it open and it just 
flops down so easily. Although I think should have at least give it a little technique, uh, like, uh, pins and axles to hold it up better, which I think would be much better. Uh, but yeah, we then have extra blasters comprising of mostly large uh, cone pieces. And as for the wing builder, which made of mostly uh, wedge bricks and wedge plates. So as you can see there. And a couple of yellow plates going to it, and then and then to both engine parts. Which on the top part of which has a few uh, thin parts around and also a couple of technic cylinders in there and also technic bits to the sides and also other cylinders as well and also that and that's the, the center section does have this little crate that you can pull out which the tile does have some interesting printing onto it and inside that has pop open and then have a Jedi holocron which did also well Jedi one but have a red part of it and it'd be a Sith holocron and of course, which did come in a few other sets the following two years. There's been. And as for the rest of the section, I have a couple extra blasters there, and it runs down with a large slope, and then right to the back side, which, which has a few uh, dark green and cl trans red clear, or I mean, uh, red slope, cheese slopes, of course. But as for the main feature, it is. Then you push okay, this part, take this part, and then push forward, and then the engines spring forward, and then it's in its flight mode, of course. So it's a very interesting, kind of neat feature to that. And that is about it with the Bounty Hunter gunship. And now onto the T6 Jedi shuttle. So it's a quite neat one that we didn't get to see any remakes for. Well, until 2023 with the Soka, obviously. And of course, it's now as for the front cockpit section, which does have quite a lot of slope or lost knot techniques going on, like of these like corner plates and also a few tiles on there, and also these other slopes that go inwards with cheat slopes around. And then have this little canopy piece with a bunch of printings on it, and I see the mine. Oh, oh, whoops! Minus the plate on there. So you can just take any part of it, and then next, oh, hang on. Trying to plop it right off. And then you get. Plenty enough seating space, but for not just one, but two figs in there, and also a little control panel in there. And then, of course, kind of close over like so. And that's from the wing parts of which comprise of a lot of wedge plates and also a couple large plates with stickers on them, which which could eventually like uh, chip off over time, which earlier sets did. But however, in this case, of which it they're nice and firm on there, so. Maybe they it was just improved the couple years after. Not sure about that. And also, as someone who is a large symmetry person, well, this switch has perfect enough symmetry, except for on this one side, which has this Technic piece that has a sticker with the Republic symbol on there. Would have been nice if it were on both sides. And of course. But as for this upper section, which has a few curved slopes around, and also 
this large assembly comprising of mostly various bricks, those bricks, and also a few uh, jagged slopes as well. And for the other side of which, has a few traditional engines to there, and also what does cylinder parts, which I'll go over later, or round bricks, which I'll mention later, but underneath the which has a couple of technic um, uh, beam pieces there, and you can like turn right into inwards. And this is where its transformation part comes in. Take it and turn the wings, and it's in its flight mode. Oh, it's quite cool and interesting. And then as for the round bricks that I mentioned back here, which push on them and launches the flick fire missiles off right out the course. So quite neat feature how that is. And so now onto the little person which is between this and also the 2023 version. Of course, one big difference, which is from different sources. This is Clone Wars, and this is Ahsoka. But however, this version, which did have compartments to flip back part of it, and this one of which just didn't at all. And this cockpit had two seats for minifigs, but the new one has one. And also do have large spots for stickers, but however, this which has large plates around it, but this had uh, smaller plates and, all, and also some tiles as well. Since, of course, there are different eras of Lego. And for the back side of which, that being a newer, newer version, does have one extra engine part to it when the other has the main three. And also a back turn to which, since of course this would since again in different a different age of Lego. And also the landing gear on both are quite different. And of course, this which does have the stunt shooters in front, which to add better, and of course, are better to access and all. So, of course, and of course, and of course, have different sizes to both of them. And for both of which were near the same price point, like this back in 2011 was like 50 60, and this in 2023 was only 60. So, almost the same for that, but yeah. So now on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on both of these sets is I think they 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 both of which are quite cool sets. Like for the time and also still well hold up. Like Bounty Hunter Gunship, a kind of a question mark for me and many. But like it's the only version of it that there ever was. Is although if so, whereas if it were made nowadays, I would expect it to have probably spring little launchers and probably the same uh, minifig selection as well. But also pro could have included a young kid version of Boba Fett, since of course also common in scenes involving the minifigs included here. Well, he'd be nice to include rather than another assassin droid, but whatever. But also for the T6 shuttle, which good to see to have a couple of mini figs. Well, one that didn't stay exclusive with with Sansi Tin, of course. 
but also great to have Jack T included in any sets. Not sure why she wasn't included in any other sets, well, maybe in the future could again anyways, but yeah. But although the, although the T6 shuttle did get one other version in 2023, for, but for Ahsoka, but maybe some, maybe at some point redo this version anyways, but whatever. And of course these which also do work out as good parts packs for of uh, white and red and also of dark green as well. And also oh and also the Spy Hunter gunship does have this part that you can flip open and then little jail cell bars to show the jail part of it, of course. So yeah, and for the price points that they were of like forty and sixty at, at the time, and still quite good for how they are. And well, despite inflation and all that, and then yeah, and so and so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets. I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.